as a Cleveland man, I want to say to, you know, LeBron James, I think, um, you know, as a man, he made, made a decision that I think, you know, each of us that are men, we have to make one that's based on how we feel, you know, for ourselves and for our family. And um, I'm one too, highly, I've been considering myself about the idea of power moves and going from, you know, place to place. So, you know, you got LeBron, you know, going to LA and, uh, you know, I got plans on going to GA. So when you, when you feel like you've given everything you got in a situation like I think he did, he gave a lot and nobody can say that. None of us as Cleveland Cavs fans, in my opinion, personally, can say that he gave up, he quit, he didn't try because that's just that's not the truth. And um, I'm not gonna say Dan Gilbert didn't give him enough help. I'm not going to attack any of the players. Uh, I'm not gonna even zone in and focus on the fact from game one, from the finals, that the referees changed the charge call that Durant ran into LeBron, changed that call because those other course of events would not have occurred. Um, you know, whether the city or not has a lot of action in it and no free agents want to come to the city of Cleveland. So, um, you know, we don't respect or show enough love or whatever to our city anyway. So he came back, he showed some love, he showed a lot of respect. But once you step outside of the basketball realm, those of us that are in Cleveland, and I'm talking to my out-of-town people, those of us that are in Cleveland, man, we, we live a different life. We understand, we, do, we live a different life being a part of all of this stuff here. I mean, you know, the point is he's, um, you know, I, can't, I definitely can't make a, an assessment of what another man is doing, but I believe he's doing, again, I don't know if there's any argument with anybody that he's probably doing what he feels is the best for him and his family. And ultimately, there's not one man on this planet, I feel, that could honestly say um, that you would make a decision based off of trying to make the people in the city happy. Are you, are you for real? Um, you would never be able to make people happy in the city. You won't be able to make Cleveland people happy. You can't make people happy. You wouldn't be able to make New York people happy. You won't be able to make, and he's not gonna be able to make the, the uh, Los Angeles people happy. They might be tweaking and geeked up right now, but ultimately he don't have anything to do with their life. He don't, I mean. They'll continue, they'll pay for tickets to come out, the place, place will be packed. And, um, you know, but he's not doing it for the city. But they'll they'll figure that out. And he's going to continue to play, you know, on a high level as long as he's capable of playing. And um King be no argument. I don't have any arguments here, man. He did come back. He played all eighty two games this this season that passed. Every playoff game. Um I think he averaged twenty eight, twenty nine points a game. Eight rebounds, eight assists. Come on, man. I mean, walking triple double, and a superstar status as the best player in the NBA. Played all 82 games. He didn't take not one game off. Um, gave everything he had. I just honestly feel like things could have been different had we won that game one. Had we been able to beat Golden State that game one, we had a two point lead, 30 some seconds left. Got a charge on Durant. We ready to get the ball. They're going to have to foul us, and we, we possibly could have won. So, with anybody that don't know, outside of the city, he breaks his hand in the locker room, punches the wall, and breaks, the, breaks his hand. So, he plays three games with a broken hand. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, once you get outside of actual basketball, and you get into some grown man discussion and you start talking about grown man stuff, you know, you just want to give them dapping 
and understand what he did. I mean, 11 years is what he gave. He gave 11 years worth for the city. So anybody that made any money, restaurants, uh, clothing, whatever, hopefully y'all got rich and saved y'all cheddar. And um, uh, that's over now. So it was a nice ride for those of us that enjoyed it. I got an inside connect uh, buddy who, one of my students who works for Cleveland Cavaliers, so he gets a chance to experience all of it from the inside. He just called me a few minutes ago and we talked for about an hour. And we're uh, celebrating the times. He got his championship ring and everything. So um, I got a chance to go down and see some games. And if y'all go to my Facebook, you know, uh, my Instagram, I got pictures of, uh, you know, me and my mother being on a big board, the Cavs game. So some of us enjoyed it. And some of us knew that everything is, is temporary and it doesn't last forever. So we enjoyed it. So this is my shout out to LeBron. Um, I'll be, I'm a fan of the NBA, so I'm going to be watching games. I always have. Just got to stay up a little bit later now. 10.30 games is when the Lakers play. But um, I hope our fans, man, you know, just give them a standing ovation or whatever when they come. Cheer for them or either don't do nothing, as usual. Because uh, I imagine, <clears throat> you know, people that's the haters. And um, you probably can go and sit anywhere now at the game. Probably won't be no sellouts. So everybody's showing their true colors. That all they wanted to do was go down there and see him play. It is what it is. I mean, that, that's people. So nobody should be disappointed in the way people behave. So, you know, LeBron James is gone. Going to the Lakers. None of the free agents wanted to come here. Now we already predicted and knowing that all of them going to flock and fly to L.A. Whether it's Boogie Cousins, whether it's Kawhi Leonard or whoever else, they'll all go out to L.A. and play. But none of those guys wanted to come to Cleveland. They didn't want to come here. So, you know, Cleveland is the city where we come from. So, Ron, Ron, shout out to Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, homegrown people. LeBron is, is Northeast Ohio, homegrown. Much respect, much love for branching out, doing what you got to do. We own some grown man stuff now. So, it would be sad and hilarious to me to see a grown man shedding tears because of a decision that another grown man did. You don't got nothing to do with your life. Um, so go ahead and get your own papers and things together. Live in the city you want to live in. And do what you need to do for you and the people that you so-called love. And life should be much greater on that level. All right. This is my shout-out to LeBron James. I'm going to probably keep making videos. You know what to do because I learned a lot from the times that I was in the environment. So that's cool. All right now.